My interest in, in CIMT and the ultrasound study of the arteries really grew from a, uh, my experience as a clinical researcher. And in, in research practice, we, we use this tool oftentimes to validate our very best therapies, to find out, do they work? Do statins work? Do statins in combination with other medicines work? What happens when you change somebody's blood pressure or they change their lifestyle? Well, CIMT has been a tool long used by the FDA as a, as a way to judge whether these therapies are effective or not. In, in studying that and reading about it and applying that, we began to see that we could use this tool also in our ordinary practice with our ordinary patients. And we could begin to apply what we've learned over the last 20, 25 years to real risk assessment in real patients. I think over the last 10 or 15 years, we've seen nine or 10 big trials. The ERIC study, the cardiovascular health study, um, big st studies of thousands of patients just monitored over the long term to, to, to explore whether thickening in the arteries and even the finding of, of plaques uh, is, is useful to predict the onset of cardiovascular disease. The findings in, in every case is that, in fact, it is very useful. The American Heart Association is actually recommending that we begin, we begin risk assessment and prevention as early as 20 years old in the American population. And we have evidence that cardiovascular disease can begin even at a much earlier stage. The P-Day study fact showed that our fourth and fifth graders have a surprising amount of plaque disease in their arteries already.